This hydro dipping question comes from one of our YouTube viewers. Branson asks, so do you clear coat after you apply the graphic? And if so, what do you use as clear? Y'all got questions? I got answers. Let's do it. This question comes up a lot and it is, should you clear coat after you do your hydro dipping? And the answer is yes, always, it is mandatory. The hydro dip itself and the graphic is not tough enough to withstand most everyday use, so you are gonna need to put some type of clear coat on it. The clear coat is what's gonna give it its durability and the better quality clear coat you use, the more durable it is going to be. So let's start out with what not to use. You definitely don't want to use any kind of lacquer. This stuff is made for lacquering like furniture and stuff like that, arts and craftsy types projects. Not hydro dip, don't use this. The next thing not to use is anything made by Rust-Oleum or Krylon. I know there's some lovers of Rust-Oleum and Krylon out there, but it is not a good clear coat for hydro dipping. And anybody that tells you that it is okay to use it is cheap and doesn't know what they're talking about. What you need to be using is a real 2K urethane based clear coat. My recommendation is to buy your 2K clear coat from whatever company you are buying your hydro dipping paint from because the paint and clear is going to be designed to work together without any issues. If you want to do a mix and match and buy paint from one company and 2K clear coat from another company, make sure you test them together first and make sure they are compatible. Not all of them are compatible and I don't have a giant list to give you and tell you which ones are. Now, if you're not comfortable spraying out of a spray gun yet or you don't have the equipment necessary to do it don't worry there are some companies that make 2k clear coats in an aerosol form I don't have any here to show you but usually on the bottom of the can or on the top there will be a little tab or a button that you push it will release the activator and the hardener and it will make the clear coat an actual 2k the only kind of crappy thing about it is it's got a very limited pot life once you pop that top and you get the activator and stuff mixed together in it Usually you only get like a couple of hours. So and if you're stuck with aerosols, that's just kind of what you're going to have to deal with. But my recommendation, if you're going to do this more than once and you plan on doing hydro dipping as a hobby, invest in a good clear coat spray gun and an air compressor so that you can spray good quality 2K clear coats. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's roll the bloopers. Branson asked, Branson? Like Branson Cerakote? I know those guys. I wonder if it's the same guys. The next thing, the next thing not to use is, I know this is not a clear coat. This is actually like white paint. Why am I holding this? Oh, that's right, because I don't have anything in clear because I don't use it. And I'm just gonna make sure this thing's recording because the last time I did this, I recorded an entire video by myself and no one was watching because I didn't hit the record button. What you need to be using is a real 2K clear urethane clear, clear coat. That is way too many clears in one sentence about clear coat. Test it out on something first before you, before you, before you, before you do something stupid like try to make YouTube videos in the middle of the night. Viewers, Branson asks, so do you clear coat? So do you clear coat? Is that proper English? So do you? So do you? So do you? So. It needs a comma, that's why. So do you. Who, who am I giving English lessons? Whatever. Whatever.